Alright guys, this is Ben. I'm here sitting in my 06 F250 with a 60 power stroke. Yesterday I had a little bit of an issue pop up. Uh, the truck went into kind of a limp mode. The tow haul light started flashing and it threw a check engine light. And another thing I noticed is it said to check transmission temperature on the message screen there. Um, looked over to the right see that transmission temperature gauge there uh, on the top right there it pretty much was sitting at that position uh, the tranny was at least 150 degrees so what I did I went ahead and hooked up my scan tool well my tuner actually to see what it said so I'm gonna go ahead and let you see what code come come up Run diagnostics here. I don't want to clear it yet. Read DTCs. It tells me to turn my my uh, truck on. And as you can see there, as you can see there, it's uh, code P zero seven one three, and that code. Transmission fluid temperature sensor circuit high input. I did a little research and I found out that that code is actually, it's called a TFT sensor, uh, transmission fluid temperature sensor, and apparently it's common in the 5R110W transmissions, which is behind the 6O and the 6.4s, to go out. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to drop the transmission pan and uh, see what I can find. First things first, I'm gonna, gonna go ahead and let it drain. So you wanna let it drain about 10 minutes. You're gonna lose about eight or nine quarts of uh, fluid. So I'm gonna go ahead and let it drain. All right, y'all, so we're back here. I'm getting ready to, to uh, pull my drain plug on the transmission pan, but I wanted first to show you what exactly you're gonna need if you run into this problem. Now, I went up to the local Ford dealership and picked up a sensor. Part number is uh, 7H141A. It's going to run you about 23 bucks, as you can see there. And then I got nine quarts of Mercon SP. That's this right here. Uh, it's actually pretty expensive. It's almost seven and a seven and a half for for a quart. But this is what you need. This is the only thing that you can run in a 5R. Get out of there. 5R transmission anything else and you're asking for trouble so went ahead and got nine quarts of that and we will see what happens uh, oh right here is a sensor as you can see there's a part number and it's this little thing right here so let's go over here I've got my 13 millimeter socket is what you're all right, so I got my fluid drained and I started removing the bolts for the transmission pan. And with it being a reusable gasket, what you want to do is remove every other bolt. That's pretty much the rule of thumb from what I've learned. Uh, so I'm in the process of removing every other bolt. And as you can see there, it says pan is equipped with a reusable gasket, so I'm not going to need a new gasket. There are, I don't remember how many screws there are, four, about 25 screws or bolts you're going to have to remove, they're 10 millimeter. So we'll get those removed and then I'll show you what it looks like inside the pan and we'll see what we find. Stay tuned. Alright, removing the last bolt here for our transmission pan. You're going to want to be careful when you're removing it because it's probably going to have some residual in it. So you want to slowly lower it. Watch out for your cross member.
Let that drain for a minute. Oh, look at all that in there. That looks nasty. I think it's time for a new filter. All right. So this is what it looks like inside of 5R110. This right here, all these things are your solenoid packs. They're fairly easy to change. They're just held in. On this side, there's a little retaining clip that holds them in. So if you ever need to change one, you're just going to unhook your connector here, get some needle nose, remove that retaining clip, and your solenoid will slide out this way. So that one's kind of loose. Here's your dipstick. If you ever wondered where your dipstick goes, that's where it checks in at. So I'm going to go ahead and get this filter off. Pretty much to remove your filter, you want to be ready because it's going to spill out a little bit. Your filter just snaps into place. Pull straight down. A lot of it's going to come out apparently. And I'm going to sit here and let it do its thing and drain. Now we're ready to change our TFT sensor. So I'm going to get cleaned up and we'll come back and get this thing swapped out. Alright, y'all. So I got the new sensor installed and I just reinstalled the transmission filter. It just pops back up in the hole. A uh, better look right here is your dipstick and the sensor that we changed is right here. Pretty much uh, that's the way it sits. You'll push it up in there hard, turn it clockwise to lock it in, and then reconnect your connector. To pull it out, you turn it counterclockwise, put a set of pliers in there, and you're going to have to pull down pretty hard because it's got a rubber grommet on the end of it and uh, watch out because a lot of fluid will, or also is going to come out so anyway we got the stuff out we got the new sensor in the filter is reinstalled so now all that's left is to clean the pan reinstall the pan and fill her back up so I'm going to go over here, clean the pan, and then I'll show you guys what that looks like, and we'll go from there. Alright, so I got the pan all cleaned up. Looks good. There was quite a bit of gunk built up on the magnet right here, but uh, I suspect the previous owner never serviced this transmission. You're actually supposed to service them every 30,000 miles, I believe. It's either 30 or 60, according to Ford, uh, to do a transmission flush and change your filters out. This truck's obviously not had that, but nonetheless, uh, once you clean your tranny pan out, it's going to look all clean like this. You want to make sure you don't use any chemicals. Just spray it out with water and then use a clean uh, lint-free cloth to wipe down the inside, and that's how it's going to look. You're going to also want to check your gasket to see if there's any kind of wear or tears on it. It's a reusable gasket, so it should be good for two or three times use so this one looks pretty good so I'm gonna go ahead and take this over to the truck reinstall it and I'm probably not gonna record that so when you reinstall you wanna put your bolts back in the same way you removed them with every other hole so skip every other hole that way everything's getting clamped down uh, evenly I'm probably gonna start in the four corners first and then skip every other hole and then go back and fill in the rest of the holes so anyway uh, I'm going to go do that, and once we're filling it back up, uh, we'll see how everything goes. So, we'll be right back. Alright, y'all. So, we got the TFT sensor, your transmission fluid temperature sensor swapped out. Uh, everything went back good. The truck took in about 8.5 quarts. I uh, might need to add a little bit more. I'm going to check it in the morning and see what's up. Uh, other than that, uh, we went for a test drive. Everything felt good. So, let's go ahead and... I'm going to fire it up.
as you can see now the transmission gauge over there on the top right is working properly and we'll verify that by looking over here on the tuner I can get a good shot of it here well actually I don't have it pulled up so let me do this real quick so we'll just go there And as you can see there, it says our trans temp is 152 degrees Fahrenheit. Our gauge is showing to where it should. And we're good to go. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to comment or uh, shoot me a private message and uh, see if I can't help you out. So Success here. We'll see how it goes. Hopefully it holds up. Not too bad, it took me maybe an hour and a half if you cut out all the BS and talking and wasting time. Uh, it's really not that difficult, so. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, take care. We'll talk to you later.